In this section we are going to look into a couple of most useful array functions and those are push, pop, shift and unshift. So let us look at each of these. So imagine I have an array and I have all of the respective values stored in the respective numeric indexes and there exists a function called push which can be associated to work with any of the arrays so which means if you have an array by default you already have a method called push associated with respect to that particular array so you can always use this method as long as that particular variable is of type array and what this particular push really does is something like it will be adding an element at the end so which means whenever you type a particular new value here and call push to the array all it does is it is going to add a new memory location here and in this example I can say it is going to be array 1 of 4 that is going to be the next successive location from the previous and that is going to be the next index so that is 4 and that 4 will be assigned with this particular value called new value which is going to be sitting in here so similarly I also have another thing called pop so pop essentially will be removing the last index related location so which means the last index of that particular array along with the value will be removed from the memory so again pop always removes the element from the end so which means only the last element will be removed and none of the others will be shifted or none of the others will be touched so the next one is shift so this is very similar to pop except that this will be removing the elements from the top so which means the first location will be removed and once this gets removed the rest of those particular indexes will be adjusted to 0 1 2 so in this case as 0 is going to be removed the 1 becomes 0 2 becomes 1 and 3 becomes 2 so which means all of the shuffling will be automatically happening all of the shuffling will be automatically happening the moment we actually shift so which means all of those particular array locations will be shift to the top once the main one has been removed and similarly I have unshift so unshift is quite opposite to shift and it is similar to push so which means it literally adds that particular new element to the very top of that particular array which means it always adds a new element to the zeroth location so whenever I say zeroth location the rest need to be automatically pushed down so which means all the elements will be pushed down to their new locations so in this case the zeroth one will be pushed to 1 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 and as RF0 becomes free after pushing all of those down the new location 0 will be having this new value okay so let us have a demo for this one So I'm going to add a new element, a new file here and I'm going to call this one as 07 and let us come up with some uh, UI first so I would like to start with the table and inside of the table I would like to have a TR and I would like to have a TD and inside the TD the first one is nothing but a simple text say center value and on top of that I would like to have another table div which will essentially have an input and I'm going to call this one as array value for now so that is the name of the input that is just a text box so I have to mention it is of type text so I have that and on top of that I would like to have a couple of buttons here to actually work with the respective functions so in this case I would like to start with button array add and type equal to button and value equal to something like push the text value so this is just the caption and however 
upon clicking it I would like to execute a function called do array push so this is the function which needs to be executed whenever I click on that particular button so similarly let me have a couple more buttons so I would like to have one more button and I would like to call this one as something like pop and let us call it as pop for now and I don't need this it doesn't make sense and I would like to have a function with do array pop to be executed similarly let me have another button here and in this case I would like to call this one as button array and shift and so let me give this one as a small case and this is going to test the and shift so which means I am going to insert an element at the very top of the array so I would like to say and shift by inserting this value and I would like to execute and shift function so do array and shift function so similarly I'm going to have one more button exclusively for shifting it so which means I would like to remove from the top so this is going to be shift and it doesn't make sense to include any of the other things here so I go in here and I would like to call this one as shift for now and uh, okay so there ends our table so I would like to have a HR tag and then I'm going to have a div essentially to show all the results and the count so in this case I would like to show the count of the array and then another break tag and another div which should contain array of items so that is all I'm going to have for now for UI so let us quickly check our UI to ensure that it is properly written And there you go so I have the text box here I can provide some value and the moment I click on push it has to give me all the elements available in the array along with the counts right at this location similarly the respective buttons need to be working so let us start typing some scripts so the first thing is that I need to start with script here okay so I have the script and I would like to define a simple array here something like uh, 10 and with various types of values jag 30 40 and another string and a boolean so I can have any kind of value inside an array and now I would like to have a function called display array results so this is responsible to display the count and all the listing of elements available in the array to be displayed inside these two so that is the function so let me first get the count so I can just say array.length so in this case I get the array length to be made available inside the variable n and then I can get get element by id and I need to get the reference of this array count so I'm going to use the same thing here in order to get hold of that element and then I'm going to say inner HTML dot number of items equal to n dot to string so which means I'm going to have the number of elements of the array to be counted and posted to n and the same n along with this message is going to be made part of that particular div so once that is done the next one is I need to have all the array elements to be made available as part of array items so I just wanted to list all of the array items into that div so let us get hold of that so into a variable called array items and I would like to say please get element by id and give that so in that way I hold the reference of it that div so let us remove everything available inside the div so let us clear out the div first so I, I am going to use the same variable array items and as long as it has any of the child nodes I would like to remove each of them from the very bottom so I can say remove child 
and uh, the same div dot last child so you can use first child or last child here it doesn't matter as long as you are removing a particular child from that particular array items uh, okay so this is the one okay so I get hold of the any of the nodes here in this case it is the last node and just removing that one and as long as the arrays has got any kind of nodes all of those are going to be removed so in that way I'm clearing out all of the nodes first prior to adding new nodes to the same div and now I'm going to have a new variable i and which will be going through n which is nothing but the number of elements available in the array so this is the loop which is going to be responsible to add all of the elements to this div so for that purpose let us start creating a new div and I can use document dot create element and I can say div in this case so I get the div I hold the reference of new div into this new div and now I can say new div dot the content which is nothing but inner HTML and I would like to display each and everything the first thing is I would like to display the position on which I am working so that is nothing but the index the index of the array so essentially the index is going to be available in i and I am showing the index first and next I would like to show the item so in this case I can say item uh, plus so I can say in i plus one the two string so index is actually static with zero but the item position or say the position starts with index but it is index zero so which means the first item is going to be index zero but in theory that is the first item so I would like to display item number which is essentially nothing but the position plus one so we treat the first position as zero technically but when the user sees it the zeroth one is nothing but the first one so after that I would like to have more things to be added item something like one of 10 or something so that 10 is going to be the number of elements available so I can say this item 1 of 10 elements is nothing but array of i so nothing but array of 1 so in that way I get the complete information about that particular element in one way or another so after that I need to add that particular array items so I need to add this new div as a child to this any any array items so I can say dot append child and the new div whatever I have created is going to be added to this div which is nothing but our main div so new div is going to be added as a child to the main div and this is all about the displaying of array results and now we need to work on array post pop and so on sorry push pop and so on so let us start with function function do array push so inside the d array push I can say document dot get element by id so I need to get hold of this text box so I use that and then I get the value out of it so once I get the value available in the in the text box I need to actually push that into the array so I use array dot push and the value which needs to be pushed is nothing but v uh, where v is nothing but something from text box and now once it is pushed all I have to say is please refresh the results so that actually adds everything to the results which means refreshes the content so similarly I can have a pop so I can have another function do array pop so inside this again I'm going to get the reference out of the text box I, 
sorry for the popping up I don't need a text box all I have to do is just pop it so I can say something like array dot pop and I can say display array results that's it so which means I'm going to remove an element from the bottom and then just display the results similarly I can have something like do array and shift and this is similar to push except that that will be added from the very front that is at the very top of the array so instead of push I am going to say and shift so after that I would like to actually display all the results so this is going to be a small case letter so I have the and shift working fine so next I need to have the shift which is going to be very similar to pop and I am going to say this one as shift and this is going to be shift 2 and in that way I have display error results so that should be taking care of everything and um, okay let us see whether it is working or not so let me collapse this for a second so let us go in here okay by default it doesn't show any of the elements so we need to fix that but on top of that if I add a new element called 4567 and push to the array and now you can see these are all the existing elements in the array and the new value has been pushed as the last item so we have seven elements and the index starts from zero but the first element of seven elements is 10 the second element of the seven elements is jag and so on so now let us add one more and click push and now you can see it has been turned to 8 all 8s and the new value right at the bottom so let us fix the one whenever I go to the page I need to have all the array elements to be displayed so for that purpose I can just add one more line called window.onload so during window load I mean once everything has been loaded just execute this function so in that way I can ensure that this particular function gets executed the moment the entire HTML and JavaScript has been loaded so entire DOM is loaded so which will essentially bring us the list of all the arrays sorry all the array elements to be displayed so let us quickly check that okay I did a mistake so that is not parenthesis here so I am saying that on load go to this function and then execute it so you are actually passing the function rather than asking it to execute then and there itself so this is like you are handing over this function to on load so you are not asking the function to be executed then and there itself so that is important so I go in here I check it and there we go you have all of those elements to be automatically displayed and now again the moment I add something that will be added at the bottom and the more elements we add the more will be added at the bottom and let us see if pop is working so pop is supposed to be removing from the bottom so I click on that and now you can see the list is being automatically updated accordingly and if I wanted to test out something unshift unshift is something like it is inserting at the very top again adjusting each of those so I click on this and now you can see this new item has been added at the zeroth location and the rest have been pushed down so similarly I go in here and I click unshift and you can see that is being added but still pop should be working to be removing from the bottom but shift is supposed to be removing from the top so let us see if it is working and now you can see those particular elements are being removed from the top